Ladies and gentlemen, good morning on another edition of The Commute. <laughs> Today, we're going to take the Harley Davidson V Rod 2012. Interested to see how she handles the normal everyday ride. Brought it home last night to get a, do a little bit of a cleaning. It's just sitting in the garage and the owner needed to have it kind of cleaned up because he's looking to sell it. So did a little bit of basic cleaning. We're going to have to do a lot more, but it was a fun ride home. It's a wonderful bike, but now we're going to go see what it's like on the commute. So let's look like and get on the road. This at five foot nine, this reach right here isn't too bad. This bike is not heavy. I mean, for Harley standards, 670 pounds. And I'll tell you, it starts right up and it's got a very mean, mean sound to it. Strong pull off the line. Got a strong pull off the line. I'll let this guy go so I can keep going here. About 122 pounds or 122 horsepower. 86 foot pounds of torque is the claim number. And oh boy, it is a it is a brisk morning again. Well, we keep getting these weird mornings here in Illinois. Some days we wake up, it's 70 degrees. Other days we wake up and it's 50 degrees. It's, uh, yeah. I didn't make up your mind here. The riding position on this bike is actually pretty good. Um, Initially, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be a little uncomfortable. You know, because you do have a slight lean forward in your back. You have a feet forward, so you don't have your feet underneath you know, like a sport bike. But, it's not bad. The only thing I could think to make it more comfortable would be to extend those handles bars back, you know, maybe an inch. If I can do that, then the bike is perfect as far as comfort wise for a trip. I want to thank everybody so far who has subscribed to the channel and left comments and likes. We're working really hard to try to get more and more content for everybody. And everybody's support is greatly appreciated. I keep forgetting, honestly, I've done it a few times. I keep forgetting that this bike is not a six speed, it's a five speed. I'm gonna adjust this book bag because this bike doesn't have any storage. This strap was hitting me in the helmet. So, this is a five speed transmission. I, like I said, I forgot a couple times. You know, the complaint of this bike doesn't handle, it's difficult. I haven't found a single issue with that. Other than the shifter might need to be adjusted a little bit for my foot, I have hit a false neutral multiple times on this bike.
got to get my body acclimated <laughs> to this 50 degree weather. It's, with that wind, it feels like it's about <laughs> it feels like it's about 40 degrees right now. Woo. Oh boy, it's Friday. It's Friday. That's the last day of the work week. Thankfully, don't have to work this weekend. My, got my son's graduation get together this weekend, which is interesting. I think you just, I don't know. Every year, just keep getting older, I suppose. <laughs> All my kids are almost out of school. It's an interesting feeling. It really is. You know, because it's cold, this engine does run a little bit warm. Honestly. So that's actually a good thing right now. Because <laughs> I can put my leg a little closer and I'm getting some nice uh, nice heat coming off that engine, which is really good. I'm gonna sit back, take it in. I'm still kind of waking up. This is the hardest thing for me to do on this channel right now is the commute. You know, when I do this, I'm not awake yet, so <laughs> if you want to hear me in the morning talking stupid shit, well, I suppose the daily commute would be the one to do it on. Uh, boy. Hey, this is, I, the, this was so much better than I thought it would be. I mean, it's got really good power. It really does. And it cruises down the road. It really does. This is... I mean, it's not a sport bike. Don't get me wrong. It's not a sport bike. It is... It's close enough to, as far as overall power and power delivery, aside from the torque figure, this bike compares quite well to uh, in the uh, just the overall power feeling to the Indian Challenger. Uh, this is just kind of butt dynamic, it almost. You know, this way it's having ridden both the Challenger and this. This is faster than the Challenger, mainly because of the weight. This weighs. Substantially less than the Indian Challenger. So, there's that. Showed it to a, another friend of the channel yesterday. How does it ride? So it rides good. <laughs> He's a, he's a Harley guy, and he, but he's never ridden a V-Rod. He rides a street glide. I said, no, it handles pretty good, you know. After about 35 minutes, you do, you know, 40 minutes. Kind of start to feel it a little bit. It's not unbearable. Oh, I got a freaking stiff neck this morning. It sucks getting old. <laughs> uh, it sucks getting old. But it's an inevitability. Time catches us all. You know, I 
get used to, I, I, I've been short shifting this like crazy, because number one, it's not my bike, it sat for a while, it needs to be, uh, you know, freshened up, would be the operative word, I guess, I still did it, I went for six, I mean, the, it, so you're sitting 55 mile an hour at 3,700 RPMs, give or take. These Vance and Hines pipes that are on here, started looking into that. It's, uh, it was an add-on. Talked to the co our current owner of this bike, and he didn't put them on. So, previous owner. Not sure how many owners of this bike is there have been I think three total owners of this bike but yeah they uh it's just needs to be cleaned so far I haven't found any mechanical issues with this bike I went kind of I really kind of went through it last night cleaned out the engine you know I wanted to take a look at the the engine itself and I didn't find anything at the time but if you're gonna really find something you're gonna have to clean it and then write it again and then look you know see what you got but ride wise this thing rides really good it rides really good I don't like it I don't like it a lot as far as the overall ride. Just give me better handlebars. Change these grips from this, because I, I don't like that. My hand just slides right over it. Yeah. This engine is very happy at 2,000 RPM. Just go, you know. Starting to warm up a little bit. Still below 50 though. Windshield wise. God, I'm waiting. Oh.
Got to enjoy it while we can. Hopefully these camera settings are coming in okay. Tried to do a little bit more fine tuning on the image. Audio seems to be better. I mean a lot better. So I've been very happy with that. But it's the overall camera settings themselves when one to tune that in. God, this bike is so low to the ground. At five foot nine I can flat footed and just kinda both feet, just no issues, sit putting them on the ground. I mean I've said it before, you don't need to put both feet on the ground, it's unnecessary, but it's nice when you get to a stop light and you can. Uh, no reason to move up too fast. Because <sighs> traffic. Hypnotic. Okay? I think that was a drink back in the day. Yeah, the one thing I found is that uh, shifter is seems a little high. I think it could I think it needed to adjust that. Might help with the upshift from first to second too. It's, you know, if you don't kick it up hard enough, it'll go straight to neutral and you're stuck. Is it, it's very, very stable. And you're on the road, it's just cruising down the road, you're going to a stop, it's just happy to sit right upright. Of course, again, gigantic back tire. The profile on that tire is just so weird because it's so big. I'm not, this is, I've never ridden a bike with this size tire on the back. At least, I don't know. I don't remember what the breakout was. But I didn't like the breakout. This is much better than the breakout. Not as far as looks go, but as far as overall motorcycle capability, this is much better than the breakout. up and just plant it. And the bike doesn't want to roll back on a hill right now. It wants to roll back, but pretty easy just to hold it in position. It's not super heavy, so be a nice day today. It's been pretty nice all week. Hopefully it stays that way tomorrow. Hopefully it stays
stays that way tomorrow. Not a bad commuter. Bags would be nice. I think I saw some bags I was looking at. They're right, you know, they mount right below my, uh, right below the seat or next to the seat. Just, they're not super big bags, just, you know, enough to carry a few items. Which, for the most part, is all you really need. Maybe a fork bag, anything. That truck's getting it today. Not in any mood to run. Peaceful morning. Ah, just enjoy the scenery. Scenery. <laughs> Houses. Businesses. Oh look, trees. There we go, that's scenery. <laughs> There's a few spots on this ride that you get to see at least a little bit of nature, but everything just keeps encroaching even further out. Which is, you know, you get it. Get more people, gotta have places for people to live. That's kind of natural, normal. As much as, I don't know, as much as I think that they're lying to us about the unemployment rate right now. It was about inflation, too. We need more people. We need more people. We're going to be stronger as a country. We need more people. Can't produce anything at lower costs right now. You really can't. Everything is more expensive. We built up. Uh, we built up China. Made them a powerhouse, and now we're trying to scramble because of it. But the only thing that gets me is that we need China too, and China needs us. southern border and crisis and everything else I mean you know what honestly we need people we need people to work if you want to come here they want to work they make it so difficult that like if you're trying to get somewhere and they're going to make it that difficult but you need to get out you're going to do whatever it takes I mean, we have plenty of land, we have plenty of jobs that need to get filled. We need people. We just need them to be able to get here legally without jumping through hoops for freaking years. Sorry, tangent. I 
tired of hearing about people talking shit all the time, complaining. If it's all politicians do anymore is complain. One side complains about the other side. And vice versa. How about you guys just shut the fuck up and do your job? How about that? If I did my job the way politicians did, I'd get fired. If all I did was complain, Jesus, they're going to fire me and find somebody else to do the job. And I don't blame them. Because I would. <laughs> I'd fire myself. Like, dude, you're you're out, man. I can't I can't listen to your bullshit. Do your job. That's what I pay you for. You know, politicians, do your job. That's what we pay you for. Pay you to complain all the time. I don't know what it is with the the thought of listening to somebody who has tens or hundreds of millions of dollars complain about how 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 terrible their life is how hard it is <laughs> I wasn't expecting that sound yeah the thought of <coughs> the thought of listening to a rich dude complain about his life oh, it's so terrible I'm so mistreated Worst ever. Just, just irritates the shit out of me. Like, yeah, you have problems, dude. Oh, poor guy. Oh, poor girl. You have so many issues. It's so hard to be in Congress. Yeah, but you signed up. I mean, it's not like you friggin', it's not like you friggin', you know, didn't understand the job description. You ran for the office and you got elected, so do your job. You know, sit there and complain to me about the fact that we're paying you a hundred and something thousand dollars a year? Get the fuck out of my face. Seriously, get the fuck out of my face. I don't want to hear that. Poor, poor people. People in this country who can't find, don't know where their next meal's coming from, and all we get to do is listen to freaking rich people complain. And then try to point fingers and fear monger about the next, the other side, or whatever. God almighty. How about this? We're all down here, the working class, we're all working really hard trying to provide for our family and we complain less than you do and you're rich anyway 2012 2012 Harley Davidson V-Rod <laughs> what a really good bike Grab this whole video. <laughs> I love it. I release it. I don't care. It's my morning commute. And that's my, you know, it's, it's my turn to talk. So I'm just talk shit. About people that are richer than me. That talk more shit than I do. Uh, good. Wait, man, there's a bunch of brothers. God, what is in that car? It is so freaking loud. God damn. That is so loud. Just took the cat out and straight piped it back or what? Really, really stiff right now. Man, really a long day at the office. One of the things I hate the most, I'd rather be on the floor doing actual work. One of the 
the thing I hate the most? Conference calls. Got like three conference calls today. Ugh. I sit, sit in a meeting and conference calls should be very focused on what the job is at hand and when your part of it's done you should be able to leave and go go on to know about your day I hate having conference calls on Fridays <laughs> I really do Fridays, I want to fix everything. I want to get everything done on the floor and get out of here. Get about my weekend. Speaking of weekends, next weekend. If we can get this video here released soon enough, next weekend we have Moto America. Super excited to get out there and see the races. Should be a fun time. My wife and I will be out there filming. say this thing is fast. I mean, it's quick, but it's not fast, you know, by modern standards. It's quick. It's a quick bike. But by no means do I consider this bike fast. Fast is a super sport. 200 horsepower friggin' leader bike. That's fast. I wouldn't even say a super sports fast, honestly. At 600s, they're, they're, they're quick, you know. Like, I, now I'm delineating. <laughs> fast, quick, crazy fast, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, a 200 horsepower leader bike, that's freaking insanity. They're a blast to ride, but that's insanity. Especially to ride on the street. But, no, uh, this bike is, it's fast, but not so fast that it's unstreetable, would be, I guess, the way I'm looking at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this bike handles itself very well on the street. I mean, it just kind of, it just does what it needs to do. Oh, God, my neck is... Oh. Yeah, it is just crazy tight right now. Slept wrong. Oh. It's such a busy day at the office. I'd stay home today. already starting to, you know, I've already kind of gotten through the worst of it, starting to warm up for me, maybe because my body's cold at this point, which is the funny thing about right when it's cold, ultimately you just got to get colder, 
you know, there's nothing you can do about it, especially this. I mean, there's right now there's no windscreen. There's, you know, there is a windscreen that uh, you could put on it, but I took it off before I wrote it. <laughs> Maybe I'm regretting that now a little bit, but it wasn't that big of a windscreen. I mean. Got steel braided brake lines. Got steel braided lines all around. Oh. I'll see about halfway through the commute right now. Bike is actually pretty good, you know, for this kind of job. You know, like right now, I mean, I can just sit here just like this, with both feet on the ground, very comfortable. Bike is just sitting here. I'm not, you know, it's not doesn't feel top heavy. I mean, that it's still got a big V twin in it, but it doesn't feel top heavy, which I like, you know. Also didn't have your standard Harley Davidson vibration or shake either. It's a good overall bike. I like this. I mean, it's a Harley, and it's not cheap by any means. I think I, I really do like the lines of this bike. I mean, this was. I said it in the intro for the ride yesterday, the first ride. This bike was a complete change in Harley Davidson's lineup. This was so different from anything that they had done up to that point. This Revolution engine is really good. Oh, God, it hurts to turn my neck. Oh, damn, I'm old. <laughs> but no, this Revolution engine was really good. And it's still good. This thing holds up right now, honestly, very closely with Power Plus. I mean, this was, this is only, I think, 12 something, 12 hundred something cc's producing 122 horsepower and 86 foot pounds of torque okay so you have the power plus eight from indian i believe it's power plus eight doing at 1768 cc's 122 horsepower 120 something foot pounds of torque so the torque figure is much higher but you got to pull a much bigger bike I mean, this thing is stout. If they had continued production on something like this and continued to develop it, 
mean, right now we could have a 200 horsepower Harley Davidson V rod or 200 horsepower Harley Davidson Road Glide from the factory and possibly looking at the same price that it is now. I mean, they still could have had the Milwaukee 8 in it. Oh, get on it, Golf. <laughs> Ooh. That front wheel is just screaming. <laughs> get ahead of him, But I mean, if, if this had been more well received, you could have had just a monster of an engine and a monster of a category for Harley Davidson that at this point in time would probably be one of their best sellers. I mean, the RevMax engine is pretty good. I didn't really find the, the Nightster. I didn't find a point for that, honestly. But that engine in something like this, in this platform, yeah, that would be better. engine is 1250 right sorry I got an itch so the red max engine is uh, 1250 <coughs> it's a pretty beefy engine uh, the Pan America it delivers its power really well oh, the kids got a bouncy house nice <laughs> I think it's the last day for most of the most of the school. Really do. And when the last days, kids are almost done. Good for them. Good for them. To enjoy their summer. Uh, get a job. <laughs> get a job. Uh, I think I at that age I was. I was delivering papers at that age, in middle school. I had my little bicycle. My bicycles have changed over the years. Get me a bouncy house. Man, I want to play. <laughs> uh, other things you look back at and say, that'd be fun. Yeah. I remember I remember being younger once, you know, many, many years ago. Just go around. 
come to a complete fucking stop in the middle of the road. Just go around them, slow down, and you go around them. trying to get my neck to pop. solid punch to it. Oh no, it's nice. It's nice. <sighs> we are almost to work. Actually, you know, I think it was a little tired last night when I, you know, wrote it. Honestly, I'm 40 something minutes into this. No, no, seat's good. No, no, single problem. Other than my neck hurts just because I slept wrong. But, no, this thing is actually pretty comfortable. I could ride this for a couple hours without having a big issue. It's terrible because 
I really, I gotta turn my head that way. kick at you when you hit a certain RPM range and just kind of throw you back and I wish they had developed this more they really do I really wish they had developed this bike more Trail's nice. Hmm. Could have got that a lot tighter there, but unnecessary. Not any challenges today. Well, there you go. The commute on. This is really long. Well, the commute on the 2012 Harley Davidson V Rod. You yeah, know, it was not a bad ride. It really wasn't. This needs to be cleaned. Cleaned and polished. We'll do that, get some videos, or get some more pictures. Get this thing posted up on Facebook. You'll be able to find it when we do. We'll put it in the description. And then take a look. We'll find out what the owner wants for it. As always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and enjoy the ride.